Columbia University, one of the best universities in the world. But we don't have a big cafeteria. To get meals, students have to join in the long lines and even in the raining, windy, or snowy days. Do you know how long you need to wait in a line? We made a test. And finally, after 25 minutes, we got the food. Similar things is happening for many universities and companies, especially in New York, due to the limited space and huge amount of people. To make our life easier, we designed a smart food delivery box with heating and lighting functions. This is what we got. Now let's see how it works. When food is done, the delivery guy will scan QR code to open a box and put food in. This QR code corresponds to a specific order. If the decoded string matches order information in our database, the door of the box will open. So food can be put in for user to pick up. Pick up is similar to delivery. Users scan the QR code to open the box. If the QR code matches to a valid order, the box will open. So users can fetch their food without waiting in a long line in cold winter night. Which will make getting meals much easier. Then let's see what's inside. The whole system have in total four input. Cameras scan QR code. And if the decoded string matches a valid string in our parse database, Raspberry Pi will control a relay to charge the lock of our box, and then the box will open. Then here comes the heater. To prevent turning on the heater unexpectedly or heating cold food, we have two switches controlling the heater. The first one is a relay driven by a temperature sensor. When it senses the temperature in the box is rising, it will control a relay and close the first switch of the heater. Another switch is a button switch, which serves as a weight sensor. This switch will only be closed if the box is not empty, so the button switch will be pushed down by food. Together with the temperature sensor, we ensure the heater will only be turned on when hot food was put in the box. The last sensor is light sensor. It records the light intensity out of box and controls a LED to provide lighting when environment becomes dark. For example, if we cover the sensor with our hands, the LED in the box will enlighten when people open the box. The next part is about data analysis. Every order is recorded on the parse database. Based on the order information, we made an item-based recommendation by the FRA algorithm. The recommendation is operated by the cloud code on parse and show the recommendation on the aim. Now let's take a look at our mobile application. This is our user interface. If you haven't signed up already, you can do it right now. Otherwise, you may log in. This page shows all of the restaurants we have, and it also tells the user the average user rating of that restaurant computed by cloud code. By tapping on it, it shows the menu of the restaurant. You can choose the food you want, and this page will tell you the information about that food and it also tells you other users' recommendation. If you don't like it, you can go back and choose another one then place order. And the app will show you a QR code correspond to your order. After you finish the food, you can choose a reading, and this information will be processed on cloud code for other users' reference. Thanks for watching. We hope you like it.